Well, today we have a very interesting story because the grandchildren all loved Galisteo and he loved them. He had a special guest that we're going to hear about today. Galisteo's guest. Now, my name is Galisteo, but most of you already know my name and that my best buddy is Don Gaspar. I'm a big orange and white cat with gold eyes. Don Gaspar is a black and white cat with green soulful eyes. What you don't know is the answer to this question, who is my guest? My guest is someone who loves me and Don Gaspar. She also loves the yard and the garden of our old house as much as I do. Her name is Olivia. I love her visits. She is my favorite guest. Olivia is six years old. She's a beautiful young girl with brown eyes and brown hair that glistens with gold highlights in the sun. She calls Mrs. B Nana Nana and Mr. B Grandpa Tom. Best of all, she calls me Gally and Don Gaspar Donnie. She isn't just Olivia though. Her Nana Nana calls her Honey Bunny and her Grandpa Tom calls her Honey Bunet. He uses a French accent. Now don't you just want to come over and play in our yard and garden with my special guest, Olivia Honey Bunny? That's what I get to do. When Olivia comes to visit, her first words are, where's Gally? Then she pets me while Don Gaspar rubs against her legs. She laughs and says, hi, Donnie. We are both thrilled because we know what's coming next. Olivia loves to watch me run free. Sometimes she uses a leash to make sure I don't run away. But mostly she's there watching while I chew on different flowering plants, lay down under the red bench, or eat the green, green grass. I am in cat heaven with my very special guest. Olivia loves to feed us special treats, which are called temptations and taste like salmon. Yummy. She fills our water bowls and brings on the special toys. She throws out colorful birds and brown mice, all filled with catnip. We run and jump all over the yard and garden, batting and chasing the toys. She just laughs and claps and runs after us. Olivia also takes me into the basement to play. Don Gaspar loves to sleep in the basement, but when Olivia and I go there, he comes in and we run all around. We hide behind the boxes that are stored in a big dark room. We climb on the heater and air conditioning ducts. We play under the enclosed porch and peer out at the yard. It's just like being in a jungle. We also play in the garage. I love to watch the doors to see if someone will open them. Then I could run out of the yard so easily because I would love to be free to explore and explore and explore. That's what got me into trouble before and why I have to stay indoors. I got grounded because I wandered off. I went to the library, the courthouse, Burger King, all without the bees knowing where I was. In fact, I was called rascal before the bees rescued me from the animal shelter. And sometimes I still do behave like a rascal. When Olivia was talking to Mrs. B, I did run, but only to the side of the house. I hid behind the big oak tree, but Mrs. B found me. I just wanted to tease them. I would miss Olivia too much to risk getting lost again. 
As the day goes on, the visit just gets better, too. When Donnie and I have to come in for our dinner, Olivia gives us extra treats. Then I get to sit by her all evening. Don Gaspar usually stays, goes outside for a few hours, so I get Olivia all to myself. She pets, pets, and pets me while I purr, purr, and purr. Finally, it's bedtime for Olivia. I try to sneak under her bed so I can be with her all night. But Mrs. B only lets me stay in her room for a little bit while I cuddle next to her. Then I have to go out of her room and the door is closed. I try to get a good night's sleep so I won't be tired in the morning. I know Olivia will take me outside to run and play all through the yard and garden. How lucky am I to have a wonderful guest like Olivia. She is the best ever. I can't wait for her next visit. Who knows? Maybe I can go visit her sometime. Galley, come to my house, Olivia wrote. Thank you. 